let's shift to the Western Conference here. The numbers are always subject to change, but the Lakers find themselves in an unsavory number, sitting in that 10 seed, dancing on that line of uh, not even making the playoff play in, guys. They were down 30, 17 minutes into the game in Dallas. AD is targeting a return. LeBron's going to miss the next few days. Sort of feels like basketball purgatory right now, Coach. Where do the Lakers need to go from here? Does AD's return give Lakers fans hope of something happening come playoff time, or is it time to roll credits on this Lakers season? I don't think there's no easy answer. I mean, even if you thought the answer would be to shut down AD and LeBron for the rest of the year, they don't make the playoffs. You know, let's get a team in like the Spurs, you know, because they have some younger players that we probably want to see that's going to lay it all out on the court. Um, <laughs> you look at a team like the Pelicans uh, that's got some young uh, rising stars on their team. This version of the Lakers is a little bit of an embarrassment, and this Westbrook trade could end up being one of the worst trades that they've ever made, especially giving up so much that they've given up for him. And also they gave up a lot, obviously, for AD. So you got a lot of players that are minimum players that they're counting on. I mean, heck, on most nights right now, Malik Monk outside of LeBron is the second best player on the Lakers team, and they better do their best to re-sign him, unlike what they did with Alex Caruso, allowing him to, to leave in free agency. So I think this team is a mess. I don't think there's no easy answer. What do you do with Westbrook even after this year with that contract? I don't think this is a quick fix. We'll see if LeBron can come back and they can make it to the play-in game. And if they make it to the play-in game, what? They want to be matched up with the Phoenix Suns and get swept in the first round? Go for it. Yeah, I'm with Coach. It's all over but the shouting. I mean, and I have – look, look. I've been struck, and I know it's been a brutal year for the Lakers, but I've been struck by the defeatism in LeBron James' post-game comments and just the way, guys, he has sounded over the last week, including in talking post-game about his injury, and I think they had to bleep out some of his words, just how frustrated he is. I've covered LeBron James' team in 2010-11 in Miami. that They gave up the ghost, LeBron did at least, in the finals against the Mavs. LeBron had the same demeanor when I covered him his last year in Miami when they lost to the Spurs in the finals. And there's a similar feeling for me. I know he didn't play tonight, but a similar feeling of watching him over the last few weeks. He knows what we all know. They get into that final playing spot. They don't get into the Spurs. It all adds up to the same thing. They're almost certainly not winning two games in the play in reality. If they do, Coach said it, they're going to get smoked by the Suns. The season is over, and it's just a matter of when they're put out of their mercy in the next 14 or 15 days, in their first playing game, in their second playing game against the Suns. Whatever it is, whenever it is, it adds up to the same thing. This Lakers season is over, and Coach is right. They've got to figure out how to untangle a brutal mess they put together. And with the loss on Tuesday night, the Lakers do slide out of the playoff play-in. Identical 31-44 and 44 records with the Spurs. Spurs do possess the tiebreaker. Going to be an interesting sprint to the finish here, gentlemen. We'll continue to come to you for it all. Thank you. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.